When we gaze upon the night sky, we see a two-dimensional hemisphere of the heavens. But wait. The distance from the Earth to the center of the Milky Way galaxy is 30,000 light years. How do we measure distances in the universe? When you blink your eyes while looking at your thumb against distant objects, you see a relative shift in position which is parallax. Now imagine your thumb to be the star, your eyes to be the Hubble Space Telescope and the distance between your eyes to be the Earth's orbit. By capturing photographs over six months, parallax and trigonometry can decipher the distance to that star. In 1908, Henrietta Leavitt, a computer in Harvard University, found an anomaly in the stars of the night sky. The stars of the constellation Cepheus got dimmer and brighter over a period of time, now known as the Cepheid variables. The conversion of the doubly ionized helium to singly ionized helium in the core of these stars was the reason. This pattern, when plotted over with the period of pulsation of these stars, gave us the Leavitt's law, a novel way to map the cosmos. Type 1 supernova, the standard candle of the universe. When a star approaches the end of its lifetime, the nuclear fusion in its core comes to a halt. The inward push of gravity overcomes the outward push of the pressure released due to fusion, and the star undergoes an explosion that outshines its host galaxies. An explosion that is so bright that it's even visible in the daytime. The absolute brightness of supernovas are the same throughout the universe. Thus their luminosity can be used to determine the distances to their host galaxies. These methods are the key to solving the crisis in cosmology, the disagreement between the values of the Hubble constant and the rate of expansion of the universe. Cepheid variables might just be the missing piece we need for the discovery of a new frontier of physics.